Hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy Golden hitting you guys up with a new series, Back to the Basics, and uh, today it's the essentials of clutching. So I'm gonna break down some clutches and help you learn how to clutch better. So start it off. We're gonna hit you up with a one v one situation. This was in a two v two tournament against the Cillian Creator. So they're obviously two very good players. And as you notice right off the start, the bomb has been planted. 100% away from where I am so I have to make my way over here and in this series I'm gonna show you exactly what I do wrong and what I do right so right here my biggest mistake is not checking where the bomb is planted I'm thinking I just got to try and find this guy we're down 0-2 uh, I don't see that he's up top anywhere I didn't really check completely but then I come down I see the bombs planted on the other side I know he's got to be oh around there God, somewhere so uh, I had oh it was God, I was God. thinking he was gonna be in that corner and he turned out to be, but if he was not, I would have definitely faked the bomb and um, looked toward the tunnel back there towards our spawn side to see if he came there. So um, I kind of got lucky because he was sitting in that corner, but uh, nonetheless, it worked out. So now we go into a 1v2 situation. This is also against Cillian Creator. Um, and we're starting to make a, a B push right here. And I stun one down low. I call it out and Tim's going to look for him. Uh, he gets shot, so I pick up the one easy kill, and now I know the last guy's in connector. Um, and he's he knows I have bomb, because obviously party chat. I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for the plant. And um, right now my mentality is, okay, he's most likely not going to come back through connector. He's either going to wrap around to deck or street, so I'm going to push connector. He's not going to expect me to go there, because that's where he thinks I am. And this is just the route I really like to take after I plant the bomb. Um, I like to run all the way around through connector and uh, come sit on this dumpster. Now, either way, this this could work. This could not work depending on where he has checked. And luckily for me, he just picks it up and goes for the real defuse. But um, that spot is really good if you just... Because um, you can check the bomb and if he's not defusing, you can just go chill in the dumpster again. But um, really, you just have to play and you have to think exactly how the other opponent is thinking so you have to really get in his mind what would he be doing at that instant so i thought he was going to run street i ran right where he came from now uh some of you may recognize this 1v4 from uh, i posted it a while ago um it's a pretty sick 1v4 and uh i didn't like i was gonna use this but i wasn't going to because it's kind of just really chaotic and it all just happens pretty much simultaneously but uh, once again, I will show you what I do wrong and what I do right. And um, there's really, like I said, as if you can get into their head and think, what are they thinking? Um, that's really what's going to win you the round. So um, right here, I'm the last one alive. I know they're going to be pushing a bomb. It's a 1v4. I'm on defense. Offense is a lot easier to clutch on. But um, this was a big gunfight right here, obviously. So I win that. I didn't notice that guy shooting up top first. But uh, I did a really stupid thing by challenging that. Luckily for me, um, they have me trapped right now. I took another stupid shot there. I get trapped on the hook. This guy's just pre-firing. So it's an easy kill for me. <laughs> Mega commando. And right here, right now, I should have just relaxed. But I was in the heat of the moment. I was like, I got to go for this kid. So I just charged them. And that's something... I basically did a bunch of things that you should not do. That would not have worked against a really good team there. Um... It would have obviously worked against kids like this, but uh, you should really slow it down. You want to check your flank. Uh, I didn't really have a good example of that, but um, when after you pick up the first kill, if it's obviously in more than a 1v1 situation, after you pick up the first kill, you want to make sure you check your flank because usually they're going to be pushing you and pushing you and pushing you, um, and that's not what you want to do if you're the one in the higher man situation so you want to slow down your game and uh make sure you really pay attention to what's around you and shit like that but anyways um i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did and let me know what you want me to go into with this series like what what more topics you want to see so thank you guys for watching once again and i'll talk to you guys next time peace